Hello and welcome to Supervisor Tips and Tricks. If your project comprises multiple domains and or assays then keep watching because I'm going to show you a really useful feature called data grouping which allows you to control the way in which data is grouped helping you to decide whether it's appropriate to combine the domains for purposes of variography and estimation. Data grouping is defined within these areas of the data loader window and can be set either on or after loading. The default grouping is generally assay over domain. This means that the assay will be displayed at the top level of the data tree with each domain grouped underneath, as you can see here. The blue highlight in the data column table reflects the grouping levels and the grouping column table underneath lists the order of the grouping. If you can't see either of these displays, then check that both these boxes are ticked. The group column can be a field name. In this case, it's Minzon, which is the domain field. It can also be a mapping type, such as assay. This means that all columns that have this mapping type will be grouped. It is possible to group on more than one domain. Just make sure that you have loaded it and then add it from the drop-down menu. Now if you want to change this view so the domain is at the top level, then you need to change the grouping option to Domain over Assay and then click on the Group button. If you decide it's appropriate to combine domains, then select the first domain and use the checkboxes to add data from as many of the other domains as you want. Now don't worry if you go wrong, you can just use the Delete Child Notes button to delete everything. You can also selectively delete groups by clicking on them and simply pressing the delete button on your keyboard. Thank you for watching. Please let us know if you found this video useful by clicking like. For more information or to make a suggestion for other tips and tricks videos, click on the link below.